Hey, what's up there, YouTube friends? It's Grumpy Gamer Dad here, and uh, well, it's Pin Mail Friday. Uh, I got packages. Sorry, there was no video last week. Uh, a lot of my packages were delayed. There were, look at this packages, packages, butterfly packages, packages from eBay. Packages, look at that! Look at all these packages, holy shit! It's Package Palooza! Uh, lots of pins. So I only had like three pins to show off last week. And I was like, you know, I really kind of need a break. I got a couple other projects going on right now. Uh, some new videos coming. And uh, so I was like, no, oh, only three pins. It's like a two minute video. It means I'd have to talk like another eight minutes. No one wants that. So I was like, sorry, no pin mail Friday. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I threw up a little sad panda because when there's no pins, pandas are sad. That's right. So I'm making up for it this week. It's like a double-sized, you know, giant annual number one uh, episode of Pin Mail Friday. I've got so many pins now. Uh, I might actually have to push some off till next week. I mean, that it's crazy. Crazy pins. I also, this one... Uh, a pin I've been waiting for. I, I talked about a few weeks ago. I'm, sorry, I'm opening up pins right now. <clears throat> a pin that I talked about a few weeks ago finally showed up. Um, and so I have a special guest with me today to discuss that pin and its purpose. Okay, so <clears throat> I think I actually put some pins to the side for next week. Uh, I have more pins coming. Um, but, uh, you know, I felt, okay, this is a good number. Because I need to introduce this last pin. It might take a few minutes. <laughs> if you could see what I'm seeing right now, you'd understand. So, um, I always start with the open edition pins. And, of course, it's Halloween time. Even though it's the middle of September, uh, Disney World's already had their Halloween party. They're like six in or something. Uh, Disneyland has their first Halloween party, like, next Friday. What? Really? Um, so <laughs> Halloween pins are out and these, th these are good. These are good. So this is an open edition. Uh, this is, if you can see it, BB-8 from Star Wars as a pumpkin. And then we've got a jack-o'-lantern BB-8 here and a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin body here. Uh, open edition Star Wars BB-8. I love it. He's one of my favorite characters. Uh, and I love orange. You'll see why, like, it, towards the end of the video. Like I said, special guest. I'm saving him for the end. All right, this next one is also from Halloween, um, open park or open edition from the park, and this is Donald Duck dressed up like a devil. You see that? And he says, "I'm, I'm just here for the candy. I'm just here for the candy." Well, if you've ever been to Mickey's uh, Halloween party in, in uh, Anaheim, you know, man, it is candy galore. Uh, bring your bags. Bring your Neighbors' bags bring like 30 trash bags. I, I tell you, they were giving out whole handfuls of candy in those bags. Uh, sadly, I don't get to go this year. Um, it's, it's just how things worked out. So, uh, next year for sure. I went last year, loved it. Videos are up there. I, I you know, I do have a trip planned hopefully in the next month or so because I have to go during Halloween time, it's my favorite time of year. Um, and there's a video I, I put up last year. Sorry, away from pins for a minute. Video I put up last year, and I watched it. Um, the Haunted Mansion Holiday Walkthrough. What a turd this video was. This is be I just got my new camera, and so it's before I started learning, like, one way goes zooms in, one way goes, zooms out. Blurry as shit. Uh, I, I plan to redo that for you guys and put it up, but um, there you go. Back to pins. All right, so this next one here, it's a park limited edition. Came out last Thursday. My pickup person, she uh, she picked it up for me Thursday, shipped it out Thursday. I didn't get it till Saturday, um, and at that point, I just didn't feel like throwing a pin mail Friday video up on Saturday because um, you know I've done it before, but it is what it is. I didn't do a video. I needed to take a week off. So here we've got an ongoing series lattes with character. And this is uh, Sully from Monsters University is the latte. And then Mike Wazowski is the little biscotti thing that they always have with it. I honestly would have thought it was, it, I thought it would have been funnier if somehow they were blocking his face. 
because uh, if you ever see Monsters Univer or Monsters Inc., it's an ongoing theme in that show. But anyway, uh, <laughs> something funny about that too. Somebody from last Thursday, I'm on Facebook at work, and I'm scrolling through during my lunchtime, and some dude's like got a picture of eight of these things, eight lattes with character Sully pins that just came out last week. They had literally released like hours earlier, and this jackhole puts up a video or a post on one of the pin trading uh, groups and says, who wants to trade? 50 bucks each. If you, or if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me put that clown's post up there. Uh, I have to be careful what I, I say. I'm not going to call this person out specifically, um, but I do believe in shark shaming, and this was straight up sharking. Uh, trying to sell a pin, I, I actually commented, I said, trying to sell a pin that just, you bought eight of these, and just came out today for more than three times their value, and I just put a little shark emoji. Shark emoji, shark emoji, shark emoji, and then left it at that. Well, later that day, dude put, took his post down, but not before I was able to snap a, a screenshot of that and put it on my Instagram. Hey, man, they're your pins. You buy them. You do with them as you please. But seriously, it's a LE. I'm sorry, this pin. Let's go back to this. LE 3000 from the Disneyland parks. Um, they have them at Disney World. They have them at Disneyland. This cat goes and buys eight of them and then tries to shark them for 50 bucks a pop. Uh, I fully, fully endorse, in this instance, shark shaming. Um, that's what we're calling it. Hashtag shark shaming. Dude was just, uh, that was a joke. Uh, this pin, honestly, the max this pin will probably go for uh, in the post-sale market is maybe 30 bucks. You know, but uh, yeah, I had to throw that out there. Shark shamed. Uh, so another reason to follow me on Instagram because at, at Grumpy Gamer Dad I put a lot more content up there. So anyway, and I don't talk as much. So this next pin um, was a purchase I bought uh, from a Facebook group, and uh, I had previously owned this pin. Um, and after getting this one, I determined that the one I, I bought, I knew the one I bought was a scrapper. Um, but it was part of my collection, and, uh, you know, I was like, well, I'm not going to trade it. I'm not going to sell it. Uh, it's part of my collection. You know, that's the only thing you could possibly do with scrappers. Um, you know, I suggest if you ever get them, keep them. Don't trade them. Don't be that guy. Don't don't try and sell them as, as real. You know, you get a scrapper, scrap it or keep it. I still have my, my fake Doug, my Fug uh, PTD pin from a, month, a few months ago. Um, you know, we're going to do a video. I think I, I talked to Dark Side Trader the other night. Maybe we'll have another uh, fake video, how to spot a fake. Um, <clears throat> I know he and I have some other videos planned. So anyway, this one, El Capitan, Frozen Marquee. Uh, this is the legit one. Came with a legit card. I verified this. I mean, I went with, through this with a fine tooth comb. Only because uh, I have this pin already, but the one I bought was from the well-known scrapper in Hong Kong who sells on eBay. If you're a pin trader, you know, stay away from this person. They are scrappers. Uh, and this is back when I just got into to buying pins online, and I didn't know any better. I was like, who would fake a pin? Why? That's wrong. Now I understand. So forewarned is forearmed. Uh, like I said, I have the real one and I have the scrapper future video material, perhaps. And speaking of Dark Side Trader 13, um, we're, we got a video plan. We've had a, a, a video plan for a few weeks, not pin related, possibly maybe another pin related video, but one for sure is not. It's Star Wars related. So hopefully he and I can get that knocked out sometime soon. Um, so he'll be a special guest on at least one, maybe two future videos. Uh, I haven't forgotten tonight's special guest, but the next pin here is from Disney Studio Store Hollywood. I'm sorry, that Frozen Marquee, I get ahead of myself, this Frozen Marquee, Disney Studio Store Hollywood, it's the LE400. This one here, I see, I'm getting all carried away. Disney Studio Store Hollywood is Sven from Frozen and Olaf. This is a limited edition. LE300, um, 
And then this next one, there's a theme. I kind of went out of order. I can't quite tell how what Ellie this one is because I can't zoom in well enough. Uh, they write this really small, and I'm getting old, apparently. So th this next one, um, my wife bought. Uh, she went. She was on. She was in pin jail, and then she got pin paroled, and then she locked herself in pin solitary confinement like that with this one purchase. Um, <laughs> this one, O'Malley and Duchess, uh, and then you see uh, if you can see Marie here in the background, and then Berlioz and whatever Turpentine, the other cat, uh, the one that gets forgotten. <laughs> in the background here uh it says it's a jerry lay entertainment pin i i need to do some research on this if you know anything about this pin i believe it's the le 700 and like i said it, she's now in pin penitentiary or penitentiary uh because of how much she paid for this one but if you know anything give me a comment below uh, i appreciate everybody who comments uh is very much appreciated okay Bad lighting, weird camera angle, but I said I had a special guest for this episode, and I do. Behold. Oh, he's all spread out. This is my, my little buddy. Uh, hold on, we're going to go to the desk. Okay, so this is my, my little guy. He's four years old. He's a rescue from the SPCA. Uh, I love cats. I love animals. I have another rescue. Uh, I rescued him from my ex-wife. <laughs> Uh, my orange Maine Coon, uh, who's not very photogenic. But O'Malley here, that's his name, O'Malley, uh, is a rescue from the SPCA, and he wants down. You don't want to see the pin? All right. So I brought him here because I want to highlight a, uh, a pin uh, seller. Um, I actually learned about this from watching a video by Disney Kitty. Uh, the website you can go to is called Pins with a Purpose. And you know, I'm going to show you the back here. Pins with a Purpose. That's stamped on the back. Um, I reached out to her and I said, hey, I'm very interested in, in buying your pins. And I also would love to highlight uh, what you do on YouTube, on my channel. And she said, yes. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to give out her name or anything, but Pins with a Purpose, look that up. Um, if you find her through my Instagram. But uh, here's the pin. That's why I showed my little buddy O'Malley. Uh, it's a fantasy pin, O'Malley with Duchess. I just had to bring him out to show and share that story. And I'll tell you what Pins with a Purpose is all about. Okay, so the back of the pin, like I said, I showed it. Pins with a Purpose. This is a limited edition a 50 fantasy pen, very heavy, nice and thick, good paint. And it says adopt, foster, donate, volunteer, network, educate, share. Uh, so pins of the purpose, basically what they do is they sell fantasy pens and the portion, a portion of the proceeds that they get for the sale of these pens, they, they work with different artists they get, uh, you know, they'll sell them, and then the portion of the proceeds uh, they donate to local animal shelters, uh, local animal projects, vets to help people pay their bills. Um, so it's a, I love pins, but I love, you know, cats uh, almost as much. Uh, well, I love cats more, buddy. <laughs> so it's a cause that's near and dear to my heart, and I wanted to share that with everybody. So, um, Pins with a purpose. Check it out. Um, super nice. Super, you know, very responsive. And when I I told her how much I thought that this charity that she or this not even charity per se, but what she's doing, her cause, how important I thought it was. You know, it was kind of like, oh, you're embarrassing me. Um, but I said I'm going to throw that out there. Pins with a purpose. Um, hopefully, and then I'll send her the link, and hopefully she doesn't be like, what the heck. Uh, <laughs> So, you know, there it is. That's Pin Mail Friday for this week. I wish I could have gotten the, the camera angle and gotten my buddy to cooperate a little bit more, but he does not like to be held. He's a, he's a sweet, sweet boy, one of the best cats I've ever had in my entire life. Um, but uh, he does not like to be held. So anyway, 
that's it for this week. Uh, this is Grumpy Gamer Dad saying, hey, like, subscribe, comment below. Follow me on Instagram at Grumpy Gamer Dad and stay tuned because there's more stuff to come. There's pin related, Disney related, uh, Halloween related, Star Wars related, all kinds of stuff coming. Uh, don't forget tomorrow, Saturday, is the third Saturday of the month, which means Mickey Mouse Memory. So you'll be seeing a video coming out this weekend on that. And hopefully I can get with Dark Side Trader, we can get our videos uh, going on that. Until next time, this is Grumpy Gamer Dad saying stick around for more Disney pins.